Okay, we're going to take a look at batch processing in photo. So batch processing is accessed from the file menu and then we choose new batch job here. So the layout is fairly straightforward. We have our sources list here. We simply click add to open up a file dialog and I've got my images ready to drop in here. So you notice they're all Olympus raw files. So now it's finished generating the thumbnails for each image. We can look at some of these options. So the output options are fairly self-explanatory. You can choose to output into the original directory where you just added the files from, or you can choose a custom directory, which I'll do now. So we click the little icon here and I'll create a new folder called exported and choose OK. So that will now save the output files into a new folder. Now then, we have a small selection of formats here that we can choose to output to. What I'll do is uncheck Save as AF Photo, which is an Affinity Photo document format, and instead I'll check Save as JPEG. Now then, we have a few options here which I'll just run through. W and H are width and height. And if you leave these blank, then there is no resampling done to the images, so they'll retain their original resolutions. However, for this purpose, I'm going to put 2560 into both width and height. Now, as long as I keep this option checked, which is maintain aspect ratio, what Photo will do is resize to 2560 on the longest length. So you'll notice here, I've got a mixture of portrait and landscape imagery. So that means with landscape images, the width will be resized to 2560 pixels and it will work out what the height should be based on the aspect ratio of the image. And then with the portrait imagery down here, the height or vertical resolution will become 2560 and the appropriate width will be calculated. So then we also have some more options on the flyout here. Some of them are specific to the format you choose. So if I click the flyout for the PNG, for example, we've got some specific PNG export options here. So I'll go back to the JPEG one for now. Now then, as we're resampling the image, we could also choose a sharper resampling method. So I'll go for Lansos 3 separable. And we also have options regarding the JPEG encoding quality, and also we can choose whether or not to encode progressively. So that takes care of those settings. Now the other really nifty thing we can do with batch jobs is apply macros en masse to all the images. So if you want to know how to actually record and apply macros, it's worth watching the videos specifically on that. But if you had, say, a series of custom macros that you've tailored to your imagery, you can basically apply those macros by selecting them from the category here, clicking apply, and they'll move across into the applied macros list. So this is really great for crunching through loads of photographs at once, say if you're a wedding or event photographer and you have a specific look that you achieve, you could record that as a macro and then apply it very quickly to all of your images. So equally, we can remove macros if we decide we don't want them. For this purpose, I'm going to choose Flip Horizontal. And then once we're done and we've got all our settings present and correct, we just click OK and Photo brings up the batch panel, which will give you a progress report. Okay, so the batch window then disappears once all the files have been processed. And if I then bring up the folder, we can see there's the exported directory. I'll just dive into that. And here are the exported JPEG images. Okay. Just one more thing to note, if we go back up to the batch job dialog for a minute, you've got this option down here called parallel processing. And all this does is allow multiple images to be processed at the same time. If you uncheck it, Photo will then process each image individually before moving on to the next one. So the only reasons you might really want to uncheck this are either if you're on some very old computer architecture that doesn't handle multiple threading very well, or if you have a lot of other software and tasks running in the background and you find your computer is a bit resource starved. Other than that though, 99% of the time you'll benefit from having this option enabled by default.
So there we go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries about batch jobs or anything else to do with photo, please do ask on the Affinity forums and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.